most inspirational lecturer. Oh God, there's loads to choose from. I think they're all really, all the countryside lectures are really lovely. Uh, probably Andy Wilcox is a bit of a favourite. Um, he did our GIS module at the end, um, which I did quite well in. Definitely Anne Taylor because she gives so much support and she's always there to help. It'll be Tom on the hill because he's uh, well, he's, he's he's full of full of life. He's he's a big character, and he's also extremely knowledgeable. He's, he was a big help in my dissertation, even though he wasn't actually my tutor. Jim Monaghan um, taught me fresh produce in my second year. I didn't know anything about it, which led me into my dissertation topic. Um, just a very very funny man and um, gets you passionate about his subject that he teaches. I think it have to be Dave Allen, because uh, he, he really did help us get through, and um, the amount of time and effort he put in, um, even his own time, uh, to help us get through, and also had a good laugh with us. So. Most inspirational? Boy JD, just because he's so enthusiastic, and it's always enjoyable, actually, to learn with him. Probably Becky Payne. Um, just because her lectures were always different, they always kept you um, like enthusiastic about the, t the topic area, and she just really looked, she really loved the, t the topic area as well, so it made you kind of more interested in it. So, I'd say Yanto, who's my most inspirational lecturer, just for giving me the kick that I regularly needed throughout my uh, dissertation and sort of pushing me on to produce a good dissy, really. Steve Latham, who, who left us um, a few years back, um, but he taught us not just the actual degree but he taught us skills in which I've taken into industry myself how to talk to people how to meet people how to be a bit edgy how to go around doing things and I think it's not just a degree but it's the people skills the confidence and that kind of thing that I think I probably as, is worth as much as a degree. probably have to say uh, Rob Wilkinson because uh, he was my placement supervisor and then my dissertation supervisor as well and he's just been really helpful he's helped me through quite a large proportion of the course. I don't know, it's a, it's a mix between Mark Simcock and Simon Ke Pe Keeble, I think. Uh, full of enthusiasm, always always up for a laugh, but then again, they'll they'll get you on the straight and narrow if you need it. So, Simon Irvin, um, I had my interview with him, and then I've ended up with him as my dissertation supervisor. Didn't really have many lectures with him, but he really helped me with my dissertation when I was having a bit of a meltdown trying to cram it all into one year. So yeah, he's been really nice and helpful, been really good. Well, they're all pretty good, but... Um, I'll go with Dave Allen just because he was my supervisor on my final project and he seems to know what he's talking about a lot and have good advice. It's probably been JD. Um, his lectures were interactive and fun, uh, really got you thinking, um, so made it, everything a lot easier when you're enjoying yourself. It has to be Charles Coworth um, for a man of, his, of experience and reputation for him to come in on a Tuesday morning with the enthusiasm he did for our evaluation lectures was invaluable. My most inspirational lecturer would have to be Lorna White. She was my personal tutor during first year and she enabled me to get the success I've got to today. Um, Steve Buff, I think. Steve Buff, because um, he's brilliant. His lectures are always interesting and they're interactive. And he's also, he was also my course module leader. Is that what they're called? Module leader. Um, and so you could go to him with any any issue as a part of his module and he would he would be help you in any way physically possible. He was the best lecturer here, in my opinion.